Hello all. In this podcast, I'm going to be talking about Memorial Hall and conducting interviews to further analyze this remarkable building on University of Kentucky's campus. This building is such an impressive piece of architecture because there are numerous unique features that are incomparable to other lecture halls on campus. Inside and outside, this lecture hall provides students with a place to actively engage with their learning and also other peers. Memorial Hall is a renowned building on campus and used for a variety of events. The events held in this building and the architecture of this building are what helps establish the culture and the environment of this unparalleled building on campus. Memorial Hall is a one-of-a-kind building that catches the eyes of many students that pass by it. While walking past this building, students may not realize what this building is used for because of the uniqueness of the structure. Today, I have Savannah Jones and Adriana Kelly here to answer some questions about Memorial Hall. Savannah and Adriana are both freshmen here at the University of Kentucky. They both have several classes in here and were willing to answer some questions. Savannah answers the questions first, followed by Adriana. How would you describe the exterior of Memorial Hall? Um, it looks like a church and it has a big clock tower on it. So that kind of is like important to our school because of the, it's in our logo, with the UK logo. And um, there's white pillars on the outside and it's like has red bricks. And there's also a lot of construction on the outside, which is kind of a hassle, but yeah. And there's performances there, like in the back area, there's like grass steps where students can, you know, just hang out after class or talk to their friends or like do their homework and stuff. And yeah. Um, okay, so it was, it's an older building, so it kind of looks like a church and it has an amphitheater area in the back with like a balcony and some grass seating. And it also has kind of like a tower pointy-ish top and white pillars with red brick. It's overall a really pretty building. What is the interior like? Uh, the interior, there's chandeliers and there's lots of seats. So that's good for like large lecture halls. And they even have a balcony at the top. And that's also good for like large lecture hall because you can have people. And... There's a stage, which can be used for like lectures and performances, and there's also um, like a big screen that also can be used for lectures. The interior has chandeliers, and it's got um, rows and rows of seating, also with a balcony and a stage in the front. It's um, it's kind of old-fashioned with the interior, but you can tell that it's been modernized with the seating. Expressed by the two interviewees, not only is the exterior Memorial Hall extraordinary, but also the interior. These features are what sets this building apart from the other buildings on the campus of the University of Kentucky. Even students that haven't been in this building still know about the greatness of this building because it is so advertised and popular to the university. In this next question to Savannah and Adriana, I am trying to find out what makes this building so unique in someone else's perspective. What do you find unique about Memorial Hall? Uh, I think it's unique because it's not like any other like lecture halls that we have at UK. Like I said earlier, it looks like a church and like its appearance is really unique, I think. Just like the outside and the big clock tower and then also the chandeliers in the like inside are really unique too. Um, I find it unique that it's such an old building. Like the plaque on the front says it was built in 1928, so that's really interesting. And also that it um, that it's been continuously being used so much. The exceptional features of Memorial Hall provides it with uniqueness and also creates the culture of the building. With all the features Memorial Hall provides, this building is home to a variety of different events. A couple events held here include lectures, performances, and various graduations for different departments. All these events are what helps establish the culture of this building. Let's see what my interviewees think. How would you describe the culture of the building? Um, I think it attracts a lot of students and professors because it is used for like, you know, lecture halls and like, performances. And also because it's used for performances, like, it, just, it attracts diverse audiences. Uh, it attracts a lot of different students because it's such a big building and um, also there's 
many different classes and I know there's always signs up for different events that take place in there that cater to different cultural groups. Memorial Hall's culture provides this building with a substantial amount of different soundscapes. I'm going to capture two different soundscapes that this building produces. The first one is an audience awaiting an event inside Memorial Hall. The second one is a lecture being held in this building. Now, let's see what Savannah and Adriana think about the soundscapes of Memorial Hall. What are the soundscapes of this building? Um, you hear a lot of students talking, and it's kind of loud in there because there's a lot of people seated usually. And you usually hear students talking about like their classes and about homework and stuff. And then you also hear like the lectures and performances and speeches that are given there. And uh, there are a lot of different types of lectures from psychology to anatomy and um, also there's different performances and things of that nature. From Thank you for tuning in today to my podcast about the magnificent Memorial Hall on the campus of the University of Kentucky. This was a pretty fun podcast to provide for all who are listening. I hope you all enjoyed it as much as I did and it provided some new insight to this popular building on campus. This is Josh Matthew from Ms. Winter's Word 110 class, signing off. Have a great day and happy podcasting.